Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Wesley, the Mile High Mouth. And for today's episode of Suki Nihon, we're reviewing episode 22 of season 7 of Adventure Time, Scamps. In this episode, to prevent, rather, the decline of some marshmallow children, so he doesn't have to put them in a, oh, the, um, in juvenile detention, he decides to convince P Princess Bubblegum to let Finn you know, take these delinquent children, these delinquent candy marshmallow children into the woods for a camping trip. This is a filler episode. It starts out where there's like these little delinquent marshmallow children and um, Finn and Jake bust them for playing Thimble Rig, which by the way is a shell game, you know, where you put a pea under some shells or a marble under some shells. We've seen a lot of people do this. It, you see it a lot actually in very populated areas and it's illegal because it's a type of uh, um, confidence game. So, you know, a con artist thing. Anyways, Finn convinces Princess Bubblegum, who is slowly descending into her NSA-inspired madness, which we know she eventually succumbs to because we've seen Grable's 1000. Unless Grable's 1000 at times, whatever, whatever, takes place in some kind of alternate world. We don't know. It might. Personally, I think all the Grable's things actually might take place in some alternate world. Only some of them take place in ours, or in the Ooh Prime, if you will. But, uh, yeah, not really much to this episode. Finn takes them camping and convinces them that everything they're doing that's actually constructive is some kind of scam. Like, oh, you're scamming these twigs into being a shelter. It, it's just, meh. It's a filler episode. There wasn't anything really, really funny in it. Um, I thought some of the funnier items in it were the little things in the background. Like, for example, there's a part where they're in the forest and the uh, little marshmallow children are pulling a scam on the squirrel from up a tree. Starchy's in this. He carries around his entire life savings. The banana guard's going, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. And uh, some of the backgrounds, like there's a little flyer that says, Do you like my flyer? Or the star chart, for some bizarre reason, in uh, Princess Bubblegum's um, observatory, where she also has a book on Boyd watching. Hey, I don't know. It just didn't feel like much of an episode. Like, what is the point of this episode? It just felt very pointless. There was nothing, nothing plot-wise, nothing joke-wise. Just did not stand out among many, 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 many substantially good episodes. It just struck me as a waste of about 10 to 11 minutes. I would skip it on further viewings. And I was just like, ugh, I don't really want to talk about this episode because it's kind of bad. Okay? I didn't like the episode. If you like the episode or you think I'm missing something here, hit, that, so hit those comment buttons, okay? If you like this episode, go ahead and hit like. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Um... Actually, let's talk about the star chart that's on the background when we see Princess Bubblegum looking out of her tower with her telescope. What's up with that? Well, that might have something to do with something else. We don't know. Also, I thought it was kind of amusing what she was doing with her whole outfit at the end when they, he's taking the kids to school and they're like, we're scamming out education. I'm scamming this uh, book to put words and to put thoughts into my mind. I'm like... Ugh. I just, I just thought the episode was dumb. I just didn't feel it. I wasn't feeling it. Thankfully, though, there's more episodes that we still have to review, and there's new episodes coming up that we'll watch. So, eh. Adventure time. He gets better. So, like I said, hit those comments below if you want to discuss stuff about the episode. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up.